So uh, tonight the people of Florida clearly sent a message. They want a governor who cares about them to solve real problems, who preserves our freedom, not a bully who divides us and takes our freedom away. I am so proud to have earned the support for the Democratic nomination to be the next governor of the state of Florida. And we are going to be, defeat Ron DeSantis in November. And we got a great ticket. You know, tonight Floridians nominated Val Demings to be the first. It's great. The first African American woman to represent Florida in the United States Senate. And together, we are going to make voices heard for you again in Washington and Tallahassee. I want to thank Nikki Freed for fighting the good fight for the last four years in Tallahassee. We share the same goal, to save our state and defeat DeSantis. Hey, listen, you know this as well as I. The stakes could not be any higher for this election. Our fundamental freedoms are literally on the ballot, my friends. A woman's right to choose on the ballot. Democracy on the ballot. Your rights as minorities are on this ballot. That's what's at stake in this election. Make no mistake about it, because this guy wants to be President of the United States of America, and everybody knows it. However, when we defeat him on November 8th, that show is over. Enough. You know, I'm sad to say, I no longer recognize the leaders of the Republican Party. They're extremists. They want to turn back the clock on our freedom. They're trying to undermine our democracy in ways no one could have ever imagined. That stops here. That stops now. And it stops with our Florida. This is the most consequential race in the history of our state. And when we win in November, we will send shockwaves across this country. I proudly served as your governor once before. And unlike the current governor, I represented every Floridian. Regardless of what political party they belonged to, or how much money was in their wallet, or even who they loved. Together, we made it easier to vote. We stopped huge electric rate increases, and we lowered insurance premium costs on your property. We fought the special interests, and together we'll do it again. We can unite Democrats, independents, and many Republicans who care about our Florida, and we will defeat Ron DeSantis. <laughs> when I'm honored, when I am honored to be your governor again, we'll build a Florida that is a Florida for all, for all of us. Together, we will restore our precious freedoms that Ron DeSantis is taking away. On day one of my administration, I will sign an executive order protecting a woman's right to choose. We will stand up to the special interests and finally lower your electric bill and your insurance bill. We did it before, we'll do it again. We will protect your right to vote and make it easier, not harder to vote. Election Day in Florida should be a statewide holiday. We will protect the rights of small business owners to do what's best for their employees and their customers. That's the American way. And when I'm governor, I will restore Andrew Warren to his duly elected position as state attorney in Hillsborough County. You know, the truth is this governor couldn't care less about your freedom. He's abusive. 
He is a bully. He is a bully. And he's dangerous. He is dangerous. He imitates the worst authoritarian leaders on the globe. And it's all a political game that he's playing. He wants to appeal to the extremists across the nation as he seeks the Republican nomination for governor in 2024. He won't condemn hate or extremism, like the Nazis running around our state waving his flags and spreading anti-Semitic hate. Are you kidding me? And he stays silent when his own lieutenant governor calls for Cuban migrants to be bussed out of our Florida. Unbelievable. Guys, this is simple. Governor DeSantis only cares about the White House. He doesn't care about your house. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the DeSantis propaganda machine. He doesn't promote freedom. He takes freedom away. But we can put a stop to this wannabe dictator. If we work together, stand up to this bully, we will defeat him in November. And this is true. This is true. We welcome Democrats, independents, and Republicans to join us in this fight. Everyone who wants to protect freedom and protect democracy, who is tired of getting screwed by powerful special interests, we need your help. Together, we'll restore decency and civility to the government of the state of Florida. I try to live by the golden rule. It is my North Star. Everyone should be treated the way you would like to be treated. And I pledge this to every Floridian. I will listen to you. I will respect you. And my door will always be open to you, because you're my boss, the people. A great president once said that our government should be of the people, by the people, and for the people. I believe that in my heart and soul. The people are the boss. Since May of 21, we've been at this for a while. We've been building a campaign for all Floridians, and we need your help to pull this off. Together we can make history, and we will shock the world. But this is a unique moment in time. This is a special night. What happened here was not a mistake. And what happens November 8th won't be a mistake either. So raise your voices. Let's work like hell. Let's fight for actual freedom. And let's bring our beautiful state back together. God bless you and God bless Florida. Thank you so much.